け翼の前に立つやつは誰であろうと蹴散らす Oh, hey, is this my con? Is this a k a t s u m a s a Man, it's been a while since I've done this. Let's see how it goes. <coughs> <clears throat> hey guys, welcome back to another analysis of i k e r e t s u b a s a And I'm your host for today, Ystream Team. And the Latin is back at it again with the Brazilian banner this time, featuring n a t r e z a v i v a u l Radonga, Alberto, and finally, Salinas. i k e r Now, Teresa, care for your creativity, is an agility type Brazilian player featured in the Brazilian national team during the Rising Sun arc. He'll be fitting in your team as either an attacking midfielder or a forward. He comes in with three hidden abilities, and two of them are rather restrictive Bond, a mere 1% stat to his team, and 5% debuff to the opponent's team, with exactly five skill players. A high baller, which is any player receiving a ball from a t r e z a within the penalty area will be getting a high ball 100%. Unfortunately, n a t r e z a is not one of the chosen ones that comes in with the new team skill. His passive, Defender and GK Killer, grants him 15% stat up against defenders and goalkeepers. Both of his default S rank skills are not new, which is kind of weird.、Uh, Miracle Fang Drive Shot capped at 510 and Soft Touch Loop Volley capped at 475. The good news here is that you can obtain Soft Touch Looping Volley of For Dream Collecting n a t r e z a without sacrificing this version of n a t r e z a Lastly, a Miracle Dribble capped at 340 Momentum is among the top tier A rank dribbles. Now, for his stats, n a t r e z a s allocation doesn't look too pleasing at first glance with his shot a little over 9k and dribble at 7.2k. The rest of his stats are quite balanced. However, he is quite a force to be reckoned with if you take his passive into consideration. Equipped with a huge stamina pool of 1.2k, n a t r e z a will most likely be able to contribute for the whole match. We suggest the really regular limit break going for 25 shot, speed, power, 21 pass, and 4 technique. n a t r e z a s in match parameters look good when his passive is active. Both his dribble and pass are above 12k, shot at almost 16k, volley and hero shy of 18k due to his aerial bonus, S miracle dribble at 57.8k, miracle drive shot. Oh, sorry, Miracle Drive Flying Shot. <laughs> Miracle Flying Drive Shot hits 81.5k force, soft touch looping volley at 85.4k, and flying drive overhead kick at a massive 91.7k. We suggest replacing A Miracle Dribble with the S version, round up his build with Flying Drive Overhead Kick and A Brazilian Golden Duo or Dream Duo X. Depends on your team setup. For those who have Team Auto Intercept Enhancement, can consider replacing either Soft Touch Loving Volley or A 1 2 with S Lightning Interception.、Um, we have a lot of Auto Intercept these times, so an Intercept is, is gonna be a really quite,、um, quite good for the character. Final thoughts、uh, for this Net Razor, I think you could consider him as a lower version of the Dream Collection one.、Um, the Dream Collection is, is of course, better、uh, than this guy in terms of dribbling, and this guy is a little bit higher in terms of,、uh, in terms of force power and、uh, shot. So,、um, for those who don't have a、uh, Dream Collection Net Razor, this guy is a really good suitable for, for、uh, replacing him、um, in the team. r i v a u l Brazil's cool headed hawk, is a toughness type Brazilian player capable of playing either as an attacking midfielder or a forward. He is one of the core players for the Rising Sun Brazilian national team in the manga, but Caleb has so far reluctant to reflect that. Is he finally going to be good this time? Let's check it out. 
They've all comes in equipped with 3 hidden abilities, Bone 2.5% stat to his team with 5 or more toughness type non-Japanese players, stat up 2%, stats for both Na Santana and Na Teresa. For these 2 hidden abilities, it seems like toughness type Santana is likely to be released soon. A weirdly replaced Inside Master 20% stat in a matchup when he guesses correctly. Ripple comes in with a new Super Solidarity Team skill for toughness type non-Japanese players, which is great for those who need to accomplish the full 60%. His passive, Stamina Killer, is a massive 25% stamina reduction against all opponents in a matchup. What makes this passive valuable is the ability to deal with defensive players depending on full body stand or skills that require massive stamina pool, especially goalkeepers. His main skill, Killer Dribble, is capped at 455 momentum and requires 265 stamina per use, has a 7% foul chance and we do feel that the animation is somewhat recycled. His sub skill NRS is S ranked 1 2 capped at 490 momentum, costing 455 stamina. It is a rare skill that requires both Santana and Atreza on the pitch, hence it's called NRS. If a stat spread clearly suggests that he's an out and out offensive player and he won't be able to do much defensively with a 6.1k tackle and 5.9k intercept. In normal circumstances, play with such defensive stats would do fine, but for Rivaul, it's not the case here, as he doesn't have any S ranked defensive skills. His offensive aspects look good with his dribble almost hitting 9k, pass shy of 7k, and shot at 9.6k. Now for his little break, we feel that a strong edge of all shooting stat look, it's not worth committing points into his shot until he gets a shot with high momentum and invest in what he can do well instead. We suggest going with 25 dribble, pass, speed and technique. Yeah, it's a bit weird but it, it goes well for now. Rivao's in match dribble hits 13.6k and pass at 11.4k, as per our suggested limit break, intended to improve these two areas. Killer dribble hits 61.7k and NRS at 56k. Assuming that his insight master is active, the dribble reaches 74k force and NRS 67.1k. Rivao is unlikely to get bullied when insight master is active. For his skill build, we recommend giving him a Skyhawk shot for the purpose of draining goalkeeper and finish off his build with a super speed submarine defense. We left a Skyhawk intercept untouched for those that have him on team auto intercept, so you can replace him accordingly. Final thoughts, Rivaul ah, Riva is, is he's, he's a good character in terms of stat, however, the only thing that he's really, really lacking is a good momentum shot. I mean, at least if um, he actually looks like a support forward for now. Uh, however, if he does get S skills uh, in terms of uh, Skyhawk Intercept or even uh, Super Submarine, uh, I think he would do very well defensively, especially with that Inset Master comes in. So in the future, he will most likely be a... Um, a defensive forward if you can't get me um but you know uh, it's k-lab so everything changes within a moment's touch Radunga, true ability intense tackle is a skill type defensive player that plays for the brazilian national team during the rising sun arc he can play either as a defender or a defensive midfielder Radunga comes in with only two hidden abilities, a restrictive bond, 2% stat with his team, with exactly 5 toughness type players, stat up 3% buff, dedicated to toughness type Rivaul. For his skill set, Radunga comes in with a coveted super solidarity for skill type non japanese players 20%. His passive full body stand grant him up to 30% special skill force bonus based on the amount of stamina he has. You'll get the full 30% when above 80% threshold and none below 20%. His main skill, Fierce Warrior Tackle, is capped at 455 momentum and requires 425 stamina, has a 5% foul chance. His sub skill are both A rank, speed recovery intercept, and strong pass. Now for his stats, first thing that really caught our eye is Radunga's lack of speed at 5.3k. His defensive aspects look sound with tackle, block, intercept above 7.5k, and his offensive aspects are surprisingly decent for a defensive player.
for his little break, uh, we suggest two little breaks. First one is 25 tackle and the step speed and technique. This build is suited for those playing Redonga in the heart of midfield or as a side defender where blocking is not priority. As for his second limit break, go with 25 block, speed, power, 25 intercepts, and 4 technique. This build is meant for doing it as function as a center back prioritizing his blocking ability over his other sub skills. His in match parameters are leaning toward the defensive side of our suggested limit break. His tackle and intercept are above 12k and block above 10k. Assuming that Rodunga's stamina pull is above 80% threshold, he is likely to, to bully with fierce warriors tackle reaching at 71.4k force, speed recover intercept at 71.6k, and determined fist block at a decent 67k. However, these figures depreciate along with his stamina. Now for his skill build, consider replacing a speed recovery intercept with an S version, drop him S determined face block and a high speed South American dribble to finish off his build. Radunga is rather new so there aren't much skills to choose from. Uh, final thoughts, Radunga, he looks like a beast and he is a beast. <laughs> the end. Alberto, daring defense at the critical moment is an agility type Brazilian defender playing for the Rising Sun Brazilian team. Alberto comes in with 4 hidden abilities, the most compared to his compatriots featured in this banner. Bond, yet another restrictive bond with a mere 1% stat for his team and a minus 5% to the opponent's team when you play exactly 3 skill type Japanese players. It is possible to pair him with Natureza, activating a massive 10% debuff with a 5 skill type players consisting of 3 Japanese and 2 non-Japanese. Shot killer against low and high flying shots, a massive 50% stat bonus, which also reminds us of a 97 Kishida. For his skill set, Alberto comes in with super solidarity for agility type non Japanese players 20%. His passive forward killer grants him an additional 15% against forwards crossing his path. He comes in with two S rank skills shut out intercept capped at 440 momentum and shut out block capped at 450. Both skills are new. In fact, most of the Brazilian players don't come in with new skills, which is weird. For his stats, Alberto is a defensive player with his intercept and block being prominent at 8.3k and 7.9k respectively. Alberto must have been skipping speed drills as he only comes in with 5.6k speed. Uh, for his limit break, we suggest as a center back, go with 25 tackle, block, speed, and power. This will balance out his tackle intercept while making block his main defensive skill to deal with goal threats. As for his second limit break, we suggest going with 25 tackle, intercept, speed, and technique. As a side defender, block is not as critical so it makes sense to maximize his tackle and intercept. Alberto's in-match parameters are well balanced out with our suggested limit break. His tackle intercept at 11.7k and block over 12k. If Alberto matches up with an attacking midfielder, if both shutout tackle and intercept hits 51.5k force, with his block at 55.1k against forwards. Both shutout tackle and intercept hit 59.2k and block at 63.4k. If your opponent decides to challenge Alberto in the air, shutout block hits a massive 82.7k. If the player that is matched Matching up with Alberto is a forward, shut up block soars at 91k, shutting down any foolish attempts. For his skill build, his default skills are all good, so we suggest keeping them. Feed him an S shout out tackle and new Brazilian football or a precise pass. Final thoughts. Uh, this this Alberto. Now Al Alberto doesn't appear too much in the manga and he doesn't actually speak that much, he speaks very very um, uh, very little. Um, although he is also the captain of the Brazilian uh, team, he's, he's extremely strong and I think um, Caleb finally gave him what he deserves um, as a really strong captain of the Brazilian team. Um, this, this, he's a total beast, we just we need him to speak a little bit more. Now 
I don't know if he actually speaks in the game as well. Do you guys know if he has any dialogue with any teammates or any uh, um, opponents? If you know, let us know in the comment below. Salinas, proud fortress of the greatest team, is a toughness type Brazilian goalkeeper featured in the Rising Sun Brazilian national team. This means that toughness type non Japanese now has two relevant goalkeepers from this anniversary. Salinas comes packaged with rather mediocre hit abilities compared to what we have seen so far. Bond 1.5% stat for his team with 5 or more toughness type players, although 1.5% isn't much, but at least the requirements are easy to meet. Full power gauge 5% on a successful save seems negligible compared to the other full power generating goalkeepers. For his skill set, Salinas comes in with an irrelevant team skill. His passive shot killer 15% stat against non flying shots is similar to the Invincible's SGGK Genzo. It seems like his passive can be played around with the increasing number of players investing in flying shots. But at the same time, the amount of defenders com comfortable with in the air are increasing as well, making it a hassle to set up aerial shots. His main skill, Genius Super Reflexes, capped at 475 momentum, is not his best. His Dream Phase counterparts holds a more superior S rank catch, blindly fast custodian cap at 500 momentum. Salinas gets a 10k base catch, similar to the current goalkeepers, and unable to punch as well. Limit Break, his standard Limit Break, is the only way to go for 25 catch, power, and technique. Now for his parameters, Salinas in match catch is at 15k and improves against non flying shots to 17.2k. These figures are quite normally by current standards against a non flying shot. Blinding Fast Custodian hits 86.2k force and Genius Super Reflexes reaches 82k. Assuming that your opponent managed to pull off a flying shot, Blinding Fast Custodian drops to 75k and Genius Super Reflexes falls to 71.2k. For his skill build, we suggest dropping him S Blinding Fast Custodian, B 100 Catch, and C Power Catch if it's available to you. Final thoughts? Um, it's Salinas. Um, uh, a lot of people ask me uh, which is better, uh, the new Salinas or the uh, Dream Fest. Um, they're both great to be honest um for me personally i prefer dreamfest um because he buffs uh the defenders and overall um he can be a bit better um it's really easy to set up uh, flying shots or, or low shots um also there are a lot of uh, good midfielders so um so salinas might not do as well against midfielders but the red salinas sorry the toughness type salinas uh, does well against midfielders since they will most likely do ground shots. So it's kind of um, give and take from here and there. They're both great, they're both good, uh, but they're both situational for um, maximizing their strengths. So what do you prefer? Do you prefer someone who, who defends against uh, forwards and sometimes or mostly against the midfielders? Or you want someone to uh, defend against Midfielders and forwards as long as they do a ground shot. It's up to you. Now, final, 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 final thoughts. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed from this banner, to be honest. Um, at first, I would love to see new skills. Um, a lot of them don't have new skills, uh, which is kind of weird. Um, I mean, uh, in, in the manga, there's a lot of skills in, uh, in with these players in game. Why not just giving them those skills? I don't know why. Uh, the only new one is Revol and the Killer Dribble, which is, uh, as we said, is kind of a recycled from other skills such as Bunnak. So yeah, I don't know. Um, in terms of uh, stats, uh, they all have really good stats. Um, Maybe not replaceable from the latest uh, non-Japanese players, um, especially because they, uh, their bonds are very restrictive towards uh, mostly toughness type players and sometimes green play, uh, uh, skill type players. So yeah, um, <clears throat> maybe one player might fit if you have most players from the other banners. So yeah, it's kind of a hit and miss to me personally as, as Weiss. Um, I thought they would have been better. I don't know why Caleb always um, 
kind of uh, shuts down when it comes to Brazilian banners. Uh, for me personally, I think Alberto is the best player in, in the whole pool. Uh, and then comes actually Dredunga. Um, so, yeah, good, good luck to those who's gonna pull. And see you guys later. Wise, over and out. Hey, Ike uh, Ketsubasa. Please replace this, okay? Thank you. Okay. Hey, hey, Ike Ketsubasa. Again, please delete this, okay? All right, I'll do, I'll, I'll do it again.